61 years of independence was commemorated by the state in much the same way this year too. A military parade and a cultural procession on the golf race green for VVIPs mostly. But the celebrations in recent times have come to include an exhibition for the public called That Kirula, showcasing Sri Lanka's heritage and achievements as a nation. Thousands of people are reported to have visited the BMICH in Colombo to mostly see the display of military wear and also be a part of this much publicized event celebrating national pride. I went to the Dad Kirula on its opening day, the 4th of February, where under the theme Ekamavakage Daro, or Children of One Mother, Sri Lanka's ethnic diversity was presented. Sri Lanka Street at the Dad Kirula exhibition was a charming display of Sri Lanka's varied cultural legacy, a rare coming together of the smaller minority communities of the country. And all Malaysia are proud to be part of it because in many of the speeches of the President, His Excellency, he always mentioned Malays. And we are proud because we have a lot of Malay soldiers who died during this war. And we are leaders who fought for independence. Hey, Dr. T.B. Jaya, we cannot forget. Actually, nobody even refers to us, you know, in all these political speeches and anything. We are generally forgotten. And uh, this kind of uh, exposure is excellent. It really does wonders for us as a small community in the country to get some exposure and for people to learn about us because we find that our numbers have dwindled so much now that a lot of people in the outskirts don't even know about the Dutch burgers you know so this is good exposure and for people to get to know about us and our customs and our heritage and all that it's a really wonderful thing Malays and burgers are lesser known but prominent communities of the past Today, they are both small in number. Usually, formal interactions of this nature among these smaller groups don't happen very often. So it's really wonderful for everybody to get to know each other and our customs. And while being here, we meet each other and meet the presidents of the other associations and all that. And so there are a lot of links being forged. Sri Lanka's indigenous people were represented by the Vaddas. They are a dwindling community of forest dwellers as many of them have assimilated into mainstream society. However, there are still a few that continue to uphold their traditional existence. Abide, I guess, Sandoja Din, my Abide. Mevage, ah, me Colombo, Nahare, Abi Avene, me Tesera. Then the my Evila in Abi. Then a single minisu, a demola minus, Beddo, a ege insa, Tabe, you know, Abi, Damane, Beddo. Egolat Abikadagirua, Egat Abide, Bome Sandos Abide, Ede Musilinga Dia Vilanima, Okeme, Parangi, Apia, Langawe, no Okeme, Ambulatina. Thousands of people from far and wide were here to learn not only more about the communities in Sri Lanka, but also about the country's security, welfare, and even the media. However, the main focus was to showcase the work of the government ministries. The Sri Lanka street offered a rare glimpse of all the country's cultures, some of which people are largely ignorant about, especially the younger visitors for whom this would have been a fun-filled learning experience. Let's hope that in future, this concept, 
Celebrating Sri Lanka's cultural diversity will be taken beyond the city of Colombo. If you have any comments about the program, please write to us at Sri Lanka Today at yartv.net. Thank you for watching. Until next week, you take care.